Right. Good afternoon, guys. In the previous session, we discussed about a program that converts given string into snake case, right? Now, uh, let us see a program that reversing the given string, guys. How to reverse uh, the given string? Okay. So let's go to the 24. So write, write a program, write a program to reverse, to reverse the given string, to reverse the given string, right? So let's take a string, we'll take a string, uh, suppose some st equal to, let's say a string with the two words, for example, right? Let's take string with the two words, guys, Python or Anna. Okay, right. So there are different possibilities to reverse a given string. Like uh, one is uh, by using the reversed function, by using the reversed, like, uh, so reversed, reversed of ST, reversed of ST, right? So then uh, after reversing, we have, we have to join it, right? Uh, we take the join of, take the join of. When you reverse it, all characters will reverse uh, like uh, an array format. All characters will reverse an array format. So after reversing uh, each character, I'm going to join. I'm going to join. So then the output I'm going to display here. Display the output. Uh, now you can see here the string is reversing. Now, right? When you apply the only reverse, uh, then you know what is happening. What is happening in that case? Like in a list, like in an array format, uh, for example, list. Uh, so like this first uh, a right uh, n a y a r a n right all of you in a space space like this. Okay, it's also one character right space. Next uh, n o h okay uh, t T, Y, P, like this. When you reverse it, when you reverse it, the data comes like this. Now we have to join each one, right? I'm going to join all as a single string, as single string. That's why I'm going to, which one I here, use the join function without any space. Suppose if I take the space, if I take the space, you can see now the space coming uh, between every two characters, guys. If I take the, for example, underscore, it will come between every two characters like this. All of okay, it's coming like this, right? We don't want anything between every two characters, just uh, take the empty, then uh, it's coming like this. This is the one way to reverse the given string uh, by using reverse function. The other one is by using uh, uh, slicing, uh, double colon slicing, right? Like uh, the given string, uh, Okay, start value minus one means uh, last index number last minus one right increment by minus one okay. start value minus one increment by minus one right uh, so minus one means backward right so like this first a will come n will come a will come y will come a like that the data will reverse okay this is the another way to reverse the given string right these are the two different ways uh, towards the given string and uh, one more way is there that is by using the loop. So first uh, for i in uh, i in st, what's first time i value? First time i value p. That p I add for the our empty string st1 equal to empty string guys. Now st1 plus if I take the i, if I take the i, just observe now guys. I'm taking now st1 plus uh, st1 plus i, i right? So by default, what is ST1 now? Empty string. First time I value P. So what is happening here? First P is coming. First P. Next time I value what here? Y, right? Y. So now ST1 means what here? P. P plus I. Uh, I means Y. So P, Y comes up. So P, Y coming. P, Y, T, H, E, O, N. It's coming like a, like a same string as it is. But I want to come Y where? I want to come Y before that P. See, the Y not come after the T. I want to get uh, before the T like this. Next to T, before this one, I want to get like this. This is the 
okay this is which one reverse guys this is the like reverse like this right for that one what we use here that every time i value i add uh, before the okay uh, string like this i take the i plus right i plus now what's first time i value coming first time i value right p so p plus empty string uh, just p now the result of p assigned to st1 next what's i value y coming uh, now y plus st1 uh, so st1 means p y plus p y p next i value is p so t plus yp so typ typ like this next my value h i value h right so h plus what is the existing st1 now is existing st1 right so for that one first i plus i means which one now h coming like this every time i adding the before right next uh, o coming next one now which one now like n coming like this next space coming the space yeah adding to the existing string next uh, uh n coming right uh, next one guys which one uh, n coming next a coming next r next a okay next one uh, y next a next n next a like this one by one coming and adding at the left side uh, adding at the left side uh. this is another way to reverse the string uh. let's take here print of st1 print of st1 Yes, see like this. There are different ways uh, to reverse the given string. Different ways, right? All of you. One is by using the loop. Second one uh, by using the reverse function. Next one by using the double colon slicing. Okay, right. So thanks so much, guys. Uh, next program we'll see how to sort the string in the ascending order and the descending order like that. Okay. Yes, thank you all of you. Bye.